this is our view of Pennine View Park up here at Kirby Stephen. As you can see there, your gateway to the Yorkshire Dales National Park. It's also pretty close itself to the Lake District, about 30 to 40 miles to get the most parts of it. So this is a driveway up as you pull in, and then we're going to go to the left to go to reception. So coming up here, this is reception itself. There's obviously space to park here with your caravan. So this is the uh, main reception here, as you can see they've got a slight shop in there. What's really good is when you come here, there's actually a uh, nice COVID safe there. You've got the scan at the scan in, uh, and you've also got your arrivals and departure. You can put your stuff in there. And there's even three apples there. A little board at main reception to see about what's going on when. We'll talk about the engine shed and the pizza van in a minute. The site has one big amenities block here. So on the side there, you've got Elson Waste. Um, then coming round, nice stone building. You've got on the right hand side here, you've got the gents toilets. We've then in the middle got a laundry area with a tumble dryer and a washing machine in. And on the left hand side we've got the ladies as well. They have hand sanitizer and you're advised to wear a mask when you're in here. So obviously in the toilet itself with rhinos, cubicles, nice big disabled access, showers, and then around here, hand dryer, hair dryer, and bases to wash. So it's a reasonable sized site, it's not huge, but it's not particularly a small site. So the site here has a top section with quite a few pitches on, which can be used by caravans or by tents. And there is a tent section there, as well as a second immunity block that we're not going to go in. Don't invite, invade people's privacy too much that people can use. Probably use less time this time of year because it's a bit cooler. I see quite a lot of grass pitches, but probably would advise if you're going to come a winter caravan that you go in one of the hard standing pitches. We've obviously got a couple of pods. So they're currently being used here as well on the upper section let's go back down to the bottom section so on the site you get different sized pictures so where we are here this is a full hard standing because it goes all the way across good size here we're right next to the children's play park actually have our children not come too close i uh, got a slide and obviously swings and things in there then this size pitch here is a half and half so you put your caravan on but then you can put your awning on there are some reserve pictures here for my adventure lv and there's been a few arrivas in okay so here we've obviously got a uh, the waste for wastewater. You've obviously got space to put your rubbish in. You've obviously got drinking water here. And if you have a motorhome, there is a motorhome point here to disposal. Um, and then there is the outside gate. Obviously, you've got outside seating here to give us a clue. They actually have a pizza van on site which serves pizza on a Friday and a Monday. It also does burgers on certain days. I'll put that up in the notes in a second. And even had a curry night, which I think is in the shed instead. This is the engine shed, which, as it sounds, is well, used to be an old engine shed. Haven't actually been in there to be honest, uh, with the girls being a bit tight, but you can probably just see inside the engine shed. So nice and warm for to go in there. The engine shed itself is only open on certain nights. I think it's Thursday through the Monday night. So if you've got a tent and you want to get out to the cold and the warm area, you can do that as well. They also here have storage on site. I'm not going to get too close. Don't show people's vans exactly where they are. But what I thought was interesting was you must be able to kind of pay for stone pitch. Because I saw a few people's caravans get pulled onto the pitch itself. And that would be quite a good option for some people who either want to come here but live further away so it's a bit quicker. Or who either um, just want not to have to tow their caravan up to the pitch. So I thought that was quite nice feature here at Pennine View. One of the little beauties about Pennine View is just at the bottom of the site is down here a little waterfall section. So come and have a look. Just past the waterfalls we have a walk and this comes on past a couple of buildings until eventually as you can see on the sign here there's a pod gill viaduct here and here's some information about it. As you see the amount we've been working on it, I think it cost about £32,000 it was first built so we did a few million probably and me and Martha have been down to have a look.
While we're in the area we visited Aria Falls which has breathtaking scenery as you can see with several different waterfalls at different levels. There's plenty to walk around as well. The only thing we would say is try and make sure you get there early enough otherwise it can get a bit busy and lots of trees to see in the area. We then went to Beatrix Potter World which is fantastic and great for young children. Again there is lots to see in here and have a walk around in this section. Obviously being the lake district there are plenty of beautiful stunning lakes to see and also there are several castles. We here are at Ray Castle and we just wandered around to the lake and as I said you can see all around the different parts of the lake or alternatively if you've got a bit more money you can even go on the ferry 